good afternoon everyone my name is ankit so i welcome you all to today's webinar on automation anywhere control room so this is the agenda for today's session like what is automation anywhere automation anywhere installation like how the automation in anywhere installation can be done and the architecture the one of the component of automation architecture is your control room so that is what we're gonna learn today so first let's understand what is automation anywhere so let me walk you through what exactly the automation anywhere is in terms of uh, edureka or automation anywhere by itself okay so automation anywhere is a tool of rpa so before even okay so it's a tool of rpa but what is rpa rpa stands for robotic process automation rpa stands for robotic process automation so automation anywhere is one of the rpa vendors see rpa is simple like if some work in in layman terms i'm explaining you if you have some task in your company or any it industry right which involves the manual tasks you are doing the process so what is a process process is a step by step activity that you do on daily basis that is a process which accomplish your business needs the step by step activities that you perform on daily basis to accomplish your business needs it is the process and you are doing a process the manual process on daily basis repeatedly okay if you are doing some task repeatedly on daily basis and which is a rule based that means you don't have something new that you do daily the same step by step things that you follow the rule based if you have such kind of processes where a human intelligence is not required there is no need of human intelligence just you are following the rule based step by step process on daily basis so if you have such kind of processes in your organization yes again i am saying if there is no human intelligence required to accomplish a work right so if you have such kind of process in your organization so rather than human doing that work you can deploy some software to do that work why software because see the work in your it industry you do by sitting on your computer right and how and with what that computer is made of it is made of softwares your operating system is also a software right so again if at all something the work has to be done on your computer it need to be software again right so that rule based work that you are doing on daily basis rule based and repetitive boring work that you are doing on daily basis if a software is doing on behalf of you if a software is doing on behalf of you that is rpa so rpa robotic process automation is a use of software guys remember uh, just listen to this robotic process automation is a use of software which helps us to accomplish the rule based and repetitive tasks that you perform on daily basis okay so rule based and repetitive tasks that you perform on daily basis that software can do it so that is your rpa okay this is rpa so then where this automation anywhere fits in see rp is you know technology it's a technology it's a set of guidelines or it's a set of principles it is not a software by itself see rp is use of software right but rp will not provide you the software it is just the technology or set of guidelines which tells you if any software wants to be a rpa software it has to follow the guidelines following those guidelines many companies has created rpa tools in the market and one of such software is automation anywhere so exactly automation anywhere is a software which is built on robotic process automation technology which helps us to perform the rule based and repetitive task that we do on daily basis that is your automation anywhere okay so automation anywhere is a software and also as uh, 
someone just said now i think akash so it's one of the vendors of rpa so what are the different other vendors we have in the market so we have ua path we have blue prism we have um, power automate by microsoft so these are all the vendors that you have in the market and automation anywhere is one of those market uh, those vendors and the market rpa market is currently captured the lion share of market is currently captured by ui path and automation anywhere so next is followed by blue prism and power automate so these are the market leaders automation and automation anywhere and ui path are the market leaders of rpa so along with that not only the rule based and repetitive so what makes automation anywhere a standout software it provides you the cognitive automation as well okay so this is a big concept this is not a small concept guys just remember so it all it provides you the flexibility to convert the unstructured data into the structured data so this is again a big concept uh, so which is said to be a cognitive automation along with that it provides you the workforce analytics as well so what is a workforce analytics in the rpa world your bot is a workforce the one who does the work bot is the one who does the work for you so then it is called as a workforce we as an employee when we do some work and we will be paid right so how we will be paid because we'll fill the time sheet and let our organization know that okay these are the days i have worked for these many hours so we'll fill eight hours or nine hours the time sheet weekly or bi-weekly right so based on which the payroll will be generated and we'll get paid but how would we know in the rpa world because that is not a human it is a software how would we know that you know what the bot has performed how will you measure the metrics of the bot how much time it has saved how many transactions it has processed all those things you will get it from workforce analytics it's a separate you know um, component of automation anywhere or tool of automation anywhere which provides you all the details of a bot that has been doing the transactions okay so automation anywhere is a combination of the rpa by itself which said to be used for rule based and repetitive tasks along with that it offers you the cognitive automation and also the workforce analytics so this is your entire package of automation anywhere right so how the automation anywhere installation works so before even installing automation anywhere okay so we need to have these requirements so prerequisites that is you need to have the operating system uh, with the microsoft okay it should be a microsoft software uh, like uh, windows server of 2012 or greater okay and you need to have um is this is at least okay this is you know this is max so max of 16 gb i would say 8 gb also will work if at all you have 8 gb of ram also it will work this this space 500 again it depends okay and the processor 8 core in uh, intel exxon and we need to have a browsers okay so internet explorer google chrome firefox these are the supported browsers by automation anywhere so along with that you need to have a microsoft sql server installed on your machine along with the microsoft dotnet framework so these are the prerequisites that you need to have during the installation so this is your minimum system configuration okay now this one so we have two versions guys okay so we have two versions that are currently in the market for automation anywhere that is automation anywhere 11th version and automation anywhere 360 version automation anywhere 11th version is a desktop application which we have to install on your machine it's a desktop application we have to install it right and that is not for free that is not at all for free we have to purchase the license to work with automation anywhere 11th version and at edureka they have purchased the licenses of automation anywhere 11th version and they are giving it for their learners and again so licenses are you know pretty costly okay so they are not at all free so they have purchased the licenses edureka has purchased the licenses from automation anywhere and within the package that you have 
purchase to learn automation anywhere right so they will give that licenses for you so you can use it for free for you it's a free okay so for the one who joins with edureka wants to learn automation anywhere so for you the learners it is free but edureka pays to the vendor automation anywhere vendor they pays a hefty amount to purchase the licenses okay so these are the hardware and software prerequisites so automation anywhere architecture so we have three main components in automation anywhere architecture guys we have three main components of our uh, automation anywhere architecture that is one is control room bot creator and the bot runner these are the three primary components of automation anywhere architecture and from these three primary components this is one of the main component this is one of the main and essential component without its component the other two components cannot exist without this component the other two components cannot even exist so what is a control room so control room is kind of a heart of automation anywhere it's a heart of your automation anywhere architecture from where you can centrally manage all of the activities that are being carried out in automation anywhere centrally manage all the other activities that are being carried out in automation anywhere abhimanyu you are right so control room is like a orchestrator in ui path so if someone aware about ui path so for them to easily understand easily understand what is control room so control room is an orchestrator of the architecture of automation anywhere okay so by sitting here one can manage the entire architecture of automation anywhere okay so what are the activities what are the different activities we can do about the control room we'll just see it okay but before to that what is a bot creator a bot creator is a platform bot creator is a platform where you can create your automation that is you can create the bots you can create entire workflow automation workflow which actually automates your business process that is your bot creator it's a platform okay it's a platform that gives you the feasibility to create the automation workflow then what is a bot runner bot runner is again a platform which helps us to execute that means to run whatever the bot instructions that you have created so this is used to create and this is used to run the bot so these are the three different components of automation anywhere architecture control room is a centralized system where you can control by sitting at here you can control all the activities that are being performed in automation anywhere the bot creator is used to create the bot and bot runner is used to execute the bot okay so bot creator automation anywhere developers will have much work here automation anywhere developers will uh, use all the features that you have in the bot creator to design the automation control room is mainly controlled or mainly uh, you know accessed by your administrators we have a different roles in automation anywhere that is rp sorry not automation anywhere rpa we have different roles in rpa that is rpa developer rpa admin rpa business analyst and rpa engineer so these are the roles we have in rpa world rpa admin will sit here in the control room and they will manage all the activities whereas rpa developer and engineer both will work in the bot creator so this is the architecture of automation anywhere the same thing okay so this is whatever we have explained just now so that is in the written format so bot creators bot creators are simply used to create the bots right so these are desktop based applications i told you right so automation anywhere 11th version is a desktop based application okay so whose sole role is to upload or download the bots and connect them to the control room so what does this mean so just before this slide centrally you can manage the uh, activities that are being carried out in automation anywhere is what i just told so centrally manage in the sense whatever the bot that you have created using the bot creator the workflow the automation that we have created using the bot creator you can 
run that bot from the control room as well not only from the bot runner you can run that from the control room as well that means you can trigger a bot from the control room as well so eventually it will run on the bot runner only okay but you can trigger you can trigger the execution of that particular bot from the control room every activity guys every activity you can do it from the control room for an example a small example you are part of automation anywhere team so your work so you have you've been hired as a rpa developer automation anywhere developer you have to design the bots first thing what company has to do it has to create your account correct it has to create your account so that you can access automation anywhere right you can access the automation anywhere to access automation anywhere you need to have an account that means your account has to be created with the username password relevant roles has to be given to you and the licenses has to get allocated to you so these are the activities if you are new to the organization what they will do they will create your account that is your username they will give the password they will assign the relevant roles that is developer roles to your account and they will assign the appropriate licenses to your account so all those activities will again happens in the control room so everything so everything is controlled here so once you are done with bot creation once you have completed developing your bot you can upload your bot to the control room you can upload your bot like how suppose we have a file you will upload to the g drive right the same thing whenever you are done with the bot creation you can upload that into your control room where after uploading your control room will act as a repository where you can store your bot safely in case your local machine crashes out you can safely find your work in the control room so that is the repository along with that you can execute the bot you can trigger the bot execution also from the control room so these many activities you can do from the control room so and that is what being said here these are the desktop based applications that is bot creator whose sole role is to upload or download bots and connect them to the control room so this is whatever i have explained till now so that is what it is meant in this particular point also multiple users can create bots that are connected and configured for the control room so multiple users how many users how many developers we have so they can create the bots and they can upload that bots to the control room bot owners bot owners are responsible to run or execute the scheduled bots that's it so it's not only the scheduled bots if at all you want to execute any ad hoc bots you can also do that okay so this is what your bot owner is also um, it will give you the execution results the bot runners when executes right so bot runners when executes the bot it will send back the result of the execution to the control room so this component of automation anywhere is also connected to the control room and can report back the execution logs and the status to the control room so this is what the bot runner is right and the control room as we have been repeatedly discussing so it is a centralized user management user management just have given the example if you are new to the organization your user account has to be get created with the proper roles and licenses so that is said to be a user management so you can do the user management okay automation deployment i told you right upload uploading the bot to the control room and triggering that from the control room so that is automation deployment okay so not only uploading so deployment also refers to suppose you want to migrate your bot from development instance to production instance or any uat instance so that also you can do using exports and imports so that is also set to be deployment that is if at all you want to migrate your bot from one environment to the other environment we need the control room without the, without the control room it is not possible okay so it provides you the dashboard so what is the dashboard so dashboard it will give you the entire view of the bot executions the activities that are happening in the control room how many bots has been executed successfully how many bots has been failed okay what are the schedules that are coming up all those information you will have a dashboard you will have the entire dashboard 
and also it will provide you the user based activity as well suppose i am uh, i am the user of automation anywhere i have logged in so it will show you that ankit is currently logged in if i am giving the wrong password it will give me like how many failed attempts ankit has made to log into automation anywhere so that kind of dashboard you will have it okay the entire dashboard along with that you have a source control as well in automation anywhere there is version control also we can tell about it so which will preserve your different versions of your automation so it will not overwrite if you upload any new version older version will not get overwritten okay so these kind of features you have in the control room okay all right so just let me log into automation anywhere control room and show you how it looks like so this is the control room url so control room is a web application guys control room is a web based application like how the orchestrator is in ui path i'll just uh, okay so let me log in as an admin okay so it is taking a bit time generally it would be fast so before to that so before it comes up so we'll learn, we'll just check how we have the learning structure at edureka for automation anywhere all right so this is the learning structure guys the first we'll learn so when you are associated with us so this is how we will teach you the entire automation anywhere concepts the first we'll start with overview of robotic process automation okay so then we'll teach you about the automation anywhere what is automation anywhere and what are the different components in details so we have just looked into the overview of those components today so we'll have more and more in depth details of those components next you will have entered introduction to enterprise web control room see it's it's just uh, 10 to 15 minutes that we have discussed about the control room right but here we have the complete three hours of session on the control room so in depth details about the control room so then we'll have some hands on on the control room then the automation anywhere client variables and commands so this is a most important concepts if someone wants to be automation anywhere developer so we have the client variables so we need to get familiar with the variables and commands if at all you want to design an automation using automation anywhere so commands are the basic building blocks of your automation again the one who are familiar with ui path activities is what it is called in ui path so here it is called as commands so we'll learn about the variables and the commands and we'll have a complete hands-on on them next would be automation anywhere commands again because we cannot complete uh, you know cover all the commands within a day right so we'll have a following follow-up session on that again the hands-on uh, next the exciting feature of automation anywhere that is metabots so metabots is one of the type of bot that you have in automation anywhere we learn about the metabot and its usages and the complete hands-on on that then we learn about the advanced features of automation anywhere okay so what are the advanced features that we have in automation anywhere we'll learn that and we'll do a complete hands-on on that and then we'll have the continuation session on the control room see the complete six hours of session you will have only on the control room so each and every module that you are seeing here the numbers one two three four five until eight as of now right so every numeric number that is displayed here are of three hours are of three complete hours so then we'll have something called iq bots in the very first slide when i was explaining about automation anywhere i told you right so automation anywhere is combination of rpa cognitive automation and workforce analytics these are the three points that are described in the first session so iq bot is cognitive automation iq bot is cognitive automation so we'll learn about the iq bot there and finally we will arrive at the certification project so we'll have a complete hands-on certification project by the end so we'll design that in the class how to approach to a use case how to design the automation then you will have a certification task where you have to upload the board by creating it and submit that to edureka upon which you will receive a certification from edureka 
that you are an automation anywhere certified developer so this is the entire structure of automation anywhere learning at edureka so this is how your automation anywhere control room looks like guys so these are the dashboards so dashboards i'll show you by logging in with my email id okay bots i was talking about right so you can upload your bots and execute so when i go to the my bot section so these are the bots you see here the task bot i can just select that and run it see i can run the bot or schedule the bot anything i can do and also i can export and import i told you right so export and import are part of your deployment so i can export this bot from one environment and import this bot into another environment okay so this is the import, export and import in the deployment okay and also i told you like user setups if at all someone wants to create an account for a developer they can administrator so this is this is the task that is done by administrator guys so the administrator can come here and create the users so this is the user section they can create a user by using this button on the right top they can create a user and assign the appropriate roles so we have defined roles with automation anywhere or you can create your custom role you see here this is system created and at the bottom you can see a user created you can also create a custom roles that is being uh, you know as per the requirements of your company you can create a custom role and you can assign these rules to the users and also i have talked about the licenses right so licenses also can be seen here so this is your control room and the dashboard i told you right so dashboard actually admin does not have access to the dashboard here in this control room so i log in with my email id to show you uh, so my user id uh, let me just uh, try if this is the right account okay let it log in so this is my user id so i have logged in with my user id and uh, the dashboard is getting displayed so i don't know today is it is pretty slow uh, so the dashboard is loading yeah so this is how the dashboard looks like the metrics okay see total users okay what are all the total users that are currently logged in bot run status for the last seven days how many bots are successfully ran how many bots are failed so that metrics you can see here and the total bot schedules for the next seven days so what are all the upcoming schedules that you have so these kind of dashboards you can see it so with respect to different different things so we have bots devices workloads and insights so we'll discuss about each and every option that is displayed here in the control room in our original session because it will take a lot of time it will take complete three hours so you see here active one so i am the only one who has logged in today and currently i am the only one who is active in this control room so it is showing my active user right so that's how your control room looks like thank you all on behalf of edureka for attending today's session thank you so much